Okay guys, John the Van Guy here, the bongo. Remember I'm working on this unit, which I suppose, you, a foil I suppose you call it, which sits on the top of the bongo tailgate there. Um, I had to ri originally fix that mirror um, and to actually put a new mirror on, these tend to break off. Um, what you've got to be careful of is the mirror is beveled, so don't rest it on anything, otherwise you'll break the glass. Um, you want to get the the top unit off, which is that. Uh, it's just two bolts. Um, you'll need a T30 star socket. Uh, you uh, you get the um, the nut underneath once you lift the tailgate. You'll see them. Just two there and two there. Put a bit of tape on to stop the rain getting in. Um, these standard screws, you can take them off. I used a little impact screwdriver to get them off. That was quite good. Um, and then do the transfer. But what I found when I took the this unit off with the lights in, but when you actually take it off, there's only one wire connection. Uh, that just pulls out. No problem. I found at the stress points here, you've got splits. This often happens, I think. Um, just here and here, you can see why. Um, so, um, and also I found when I took those um, uh, screws out, the T30 star screws out, one of the embedded bolts, so there's the two the bolts there and there, one of the embedded bolts had actually broke off. So it broke off from the mounting. So I ended up having to get the nut and bolt, try and release it from the top of the van. Uh, up there it was, uh, which was a bit of a pain. So I used, um, I think it was a, a 10 mil socket and um, spanner. Eventually I managed to work it off. Uh, but I know you thought I might have to angle grind it off, but never mind, I did get it off. So what I've done, I found an equivalent nut and bolt, which will which will do, uh, and I've reset uh, the nut in here and nut in here uh, using a bit of um, easy body filler u pull. Now the interesting thing was these splits that have occurred here. But what am I going to do? I thought first of all I could put on the inside some fiberglass, soak it in resin, and if you're doing this by the way, doing little jobs like this, uh, and you want a handy cup, just a little tip, collect all these from the spray cans. Um, that's not a good one. Yeah, these are all handy, don't throw them away. Very useful as cups to mix things, uh, and then you can just discard it if you want. Right, I did try that. Um, for some reason, I'd, and I'd cut fiberglass strips, soak them in resin hardener, um, and put them across here. For some reason, well, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but the it didn't seem to set properly. So I've actually cleaned it up, got those out, and instead, I thought what I'd try is simply super glue. Um, the, so the split is there. Do you just see it? Uh, now I use, and I found most effective, I've never been a great fan of super glues, but I have found this particular one works quite well. And unusually, it's the Everbuild, one minute instant bond, all purpose super glue. And often these little super glues are these horrible little tubes. Um, you use them once and that's it, and they go all over the place. This one, you can actually, I've used one bottle a number of times and simply screwed the top on and I've been using it now for a while. And I thought, why not? Now what I did, I cleaned this up first with a bit of thinner. Um, I've got some thinners, uh, all purpose thinner will do. Um, just cleaned up with a bit of thinner to get rid of some of the gunk that was here before. And then uh, just put in, dabbed in, the um, super glue and and I held it all together for about three minutes and now it's actually solid see it's not bending at all that's the crack 
it's solid. I might reinforce it with a bit of um, U-Pol uh, paste hardener in, inside there, just put a little bit, bit on, might just reinforce that. But it's a good tip actually, um, saves a lot of hassle. There you go.